Hi, Mark. Over to you. Uh, well, as, as I said, I'm Mark and I'm a Robin. We're uh, from Fitness Community College and we uh, did a project on our uh, science room. Okay. Um, we wanted to find out if we had did, made lots of different changes, small changes, whether this could build up to one big change and uh, would we be able to spread this through our school and um, would, it, would other schools be able to do it? Would those changes be simple enough to do that? This is our, our school. It's in the, it was built in the late 60s, uh, early 70s. Uh, there's been more modern extensions and it's just a box standard school really. And there's nothing different to it. Mm. Okay, so the aims of our project um, to reduce the energy consumption of one room, which is our science room. Uh, we want to use simple um, and effective um, means of doing this, so like signs and uh, bits and bobs like that. Uh, we want to measure these, like we used uh, data loggers and um, other uh, equipment to monitor the electric use in the uh, room. Um, once we've done this, we want to communicate this to the staff and students so that they can, um, you know, so the rest of the school can follow suit with our uh, improvements. Um, and then after that, we want to measure throughout the school to make sure those improvements are doing what they should do and improving and reducing the amount of electricity used. Okay. Um, this is our science room. Um, at the back, we've got these uh, big windows. Um, they're replicated on the other side of the room as well. Um, obviously, a lot of heat's lost through these windows. They're single glazed. Uh, we've got three doors uh, around the room. Um, again, a lot of the doors are open most of the time and a lot of heat's lost through them. And we've got 15 lights, and in each light there's four uh, strobes. Um, so a lot of the electric is used through them. Um, and we also have a laptop and projector in the room as well, like most schools and most rooms in our school. The human solution. Um... <coughs> There's not going to be a lot of technological things that can be done. It's just got to be done through education and showing people how to do it correctly. And a way that we've um, developed is through signage and putting signs up whether it's needed. So it's closing doors, switching off lights, uh, closing curtains, and turning projectors. And there, as you said, there are windows. So do we, can we use sunlight instead of, uh, instead of lights? Okay. Okay. So um, to measure. <coughs> Uh, the temperature and light in the room, we spread three data loggers out um, on the benches. Um, this was then, they recorded the uh, temperature and light every half an hour for one week. Um, we also used the owl <coughs> monitors um, to measure the electric coming in for the lights and the mains in the room. Um, again, we did that for one week. Um, after that, we repeated the experiment with our signs in place to see if we've made a difference. Okay. Basically, this is uh, just an overview of the OWL energy monitors. Uh, we have one of these, which um, will clamp over the uh, electric cable and measure the current going through, which then talks to this one, who will then send a signal to this thing here, which will display the... Um, energy readings, and, but we also used a uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth uh, thing to send it to a laptop to record it, that's basically it, and from that we found that the lights in the room were the biggest, obviously, using 1.01 kilowatts, the projector using 0.113 kilowatts, and the laptop using 0.016 kilowatts. Okay, okay this is our uh, graph, it shows the um, temperature in the room over a 24 hour period. Uh, the yellow line indicates the temperature before our changes were implemented and the white line after the changes were implemented. As you can see, um, it's on average raised by about a degree, which is actually really good because the heaters in the school will have to heat less. That will, that will save energy, so it's like every little helps basically. Okay, um, our biggest finding was the lights. I mean, approximately ten times more than any of the other appliances in the room. Um, the energy saving measures that we can uh, reduce is uh, the power consumption. Um, 
mainly turning off the lights um, and reducing heat loss as well, which will save the school money. And, um, yeah. yeah, electricity consumption for the whole site, of the whole school in 2007 was uh, 1,032,693 kilowatt hours. And then it went up in 2008 to 1,085,826 kilowatt hours. And that's a difference of 53,000 133 kilowatt hours, which is about 5,000 pounds, uh, or uh, 28,721 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt uh, kilograms, of dioxide. kilograms of carbon dioxide. Okay. Quite a lot. Um, okay, so our recommendations are for staff and students to be educated on, you know, showing them like these graphs and information, so they can realise how much energy they can save. We also want to implement a switch-off measure across the whole school. That's just switching off the appliances when they're not needed, or maybe even the lights if they're not needed, like using a projector or something. Okay, we want to close the doors, the outside doors, because a lot of the doors are left open, or just like lots of um, heat is lost through these. Um, so by closing them, we'll save a lot of money and heat. Um, the lights seem uh, to be the biggest factor. Um, we can't actually control the heating within the school, but we can control how much heat is lost from the school. Okay? Okay, and that's it. Um, any questions? Any questions? Hi. Is they yes. here? I've got time to had a question. Yeah, I have. Um, how do you think we could educate the teaching staff at the school to turn the lights off? Okay, so mainly putting up small like small signs on every light I, I would say and also bringing them all together and speaking to them showing them the figures and informing them so they can then make better judgments while in their uh, classrooms okay any other questions? Oh, yes. no? thank you very much